Hi, my name is Candy Shaw Codner, and I'm the owner and educator for Jameson Shaw Hairdressers in Atlanta, Georgia. And today I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to put in your own hair extensions. Naz's hair is very thin and fine at the bottom. She loves a voluptuous look that can happen throughout her hair with extensions. So the very first thing you do is you prep the hair nice and smooth if you want to wear your hair extensions straight. By using the back of the ear, you part the hair from the middle of the ear to the middle of the ear for your first piece. Once you part off the back part piece of the hair, make sure to take a tail comb or a nice fine tooth comb and lightly tease at the top of the hair shaft. It's important to tease on top of the hair in order to elongate the hair. If you were to tease on the bottom of the hair, you would be shortening the hair. The goal here is to make the hair longer, not shorter, so you must tease on top. The top teasing also allows a beautiful bed in which to put the clip of the extension. So first, you pop the clips open. You take the center piece into the middle and you anchor it to the hair, wrapping it around the head. Removing your clip, you're going to go to the next piece, which is a slight bit higher. You're going to begin to part the hair off. This piece is going to have a little bit more of a horseshoe effect and come around slightly on the sides. Starting on the right or left, you begin again tapping three times in order to build the anchor in which to put your hair piece. This also gives the hair a lot of volume so when the hair is dropped down, it looks thicker and the layers lay nicely into the hair extensions. This, of course, is the longest piece that you're going to put into the hair. Start directly in the middle and apply the first piece and then wrap from one side to the other. Before you do the crown, it's best to come and try to mimic the side into your hair. So, by taking your last piece that you created, right above it, at three quarter of the eyebrow, you're going to begin to take a section for the side. Keeping in mind that the layers that you put away are going to be the layers that fall on top. Lightly teasing at the scalp, you begin to place an anchor for your next extension. Keep in mind that when you place a hair extension close to the hairline, that you need a little bit of hair around that to hide the extension piece. In this case, I think I'm going to move the extension back slightly so that you cannot see the weft. Now we're going to do the same procedure on the other side using three quarter of the eyebrow coming into the back piece that we just created. Once again, three taps at the scalp, remembering to keep out some of the hair for the final product. By making a slight crescent moon, you bring up the crown and create an arc. On the top, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you'll notice on the top we use only two teasings so that the hair doesn't stick up quite as much prior to putting in the extension. Now just by having two clips, we do the crescent onto the hair. And then we begin to place the crown and smooth the bang accordingly. If you would like to create a little bit of a wing effect on your extensions, you can come just to the very front of the bang and roll the hair back. Using a one inch iron, keeping it low, 
you can create a slight little bit of bend to the hair and tie that hair into your extension pieces. And now you have just a simple way of placing in hair extensions.